Hey, teddy cam seems like such a good idea. <laughs> At the time. Until it comes back to bite you. Absolutely. Well, oh. it has, hasn't it? It really has. has she get, I mean, so she forgave last year. Yes. She got over that. Well, she was very she vulnerable really last year, you know. Mm. I mean, I kept thinking, why is she letting him get away with it? But actually, she'd lost her son, her brother yeah. had gone AWOL, she'd lost her home and everything. So Jay was her only kind of th consistency, you know, so... So it's almost not less that she forgave him more, she just had to keep him there. She had, yeah. But this to time... stay in the village. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta stay here. Yeah. This time, though, as we saw in the clip, he's gonna get it big time. It seems like uh, it, Jay's got something coming. Well, she's, she's stuck by him through a lot of, you know, things that he's done. He's done some nasty things, locking people in, you know, containers and stuff and all the other things he's been up to. <laughs> and she stood by him. So I think that when she realises that this is, you know, he's done it again to her and with her business pal, you mm. know, definitely he's not going to get through this. You know, she's getting him back big time. That, that sounds quite... Terminal. I love it. He's this. not going to get through it. I don't think so. I think, um, <laughs> yeah, she's she's been scorned twice and publi publicly, you know. Yeah. And the old Megan Macy, you know, you'd never mess with her. But then she had a little bit of a vulnerable spot. Fair enough, you know. And um, now she's back. And it's she's almost definitely... like you were cross. She went vulnerable for a while, <laughs> and now you're quite pleased. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> pleased that she's got a mojo back, you know. <laughs> and um, back to the Machiavellian Megan that she was. But then, um, you know, it was great to play, obviously, against mm. uh, Jamie and stuff for last, last year. But it's nice to actually get the fire back in her bones. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, she's. A, we, we talked about this when when you came in because during that vulnerable time, she's such a brilliant character, and and it's sort of you've, you've landed on your feet in terms of the opportunity and the storyline she's been given. Well, because she's, she's kind of got a cold front. She can say what she wants to anybody and kind of get away with it. But we saw, you know, with all the grief and everything, mm. she's got a real heart. And you have moments of seeing that, which is really nice to play too. So she's kind of, you know, three-dimensional, which is always nice, and layered up, mm. which is great to play. Are you going to make a decision in Emmerdale? Uh, he is, or I, I suspect the decision might be made for him by one of the other two. Ah, OK, so it's not necessarily come down to him. No, he kind of... I, I, the, the thing with James is he kind of... He would like, I suspect, at some point to get back with his wife. Mm. 